friends. This is the actual end of the Bible Library series. 80 videos. We've gone through every single book. We even touched on books that aren't even in the Bible Library technically. Uh, we did it. Any of these, uh, we're going to leave these up. So if you're looking for a book later, you know, maybe come winter and you want to read. Uh, if you have questions about a book, oh yeah, which book was the general theme, blah, blah, blah. Please, these videos are here for a resource for you. This is a, a video to kind of wrap up our conversation of scripture. Remember, we had a bunch of informational ones to begin with, and I thought it'd be fitting to end with the, the idea of scripture is conversation. I want that conversation to continue. I've been doing a lot of talking. And maybe I'm hoping that this conversation could be more than just me. What books of scripture did you read during this that you, you enjoyed? What questions do you have? Where do you want us to, to go next? Right? Um, how does the conversation of scripture continue in our lived lives? Right? We hear this gospel every Sunday. Uh, we're supposed to live it out. How does that conversation, what conversations are we having with our kids? What the faith is? Right? Uh, what are we reading? What are we saying? What are we proclaiming? What are we taking to heart? The conversation of scripture continues. I, I told you that in the Hebrew uh, faith, they have what's called the Talmud. Uh, this is like a commentary among the, the top rabbis that uh, commentate on texts, and it, it continues throughout the generations. That, um, you know, writings from various religious leaders talking about these same texts that generations upon generations of God's people have studied and lived, right? That what we're trying to do. And so I, I think we should continue that conversation. Um, we don't need to write a book. But <laughs> uh, what, what do the older generations have to tell us younger generations and vice versa? What conversations can we be having uh, moving forward? Where's God calling us now? This passage that has spoken for generations to so many people, what is, it, what is it calling to us now? What passages perhaps that many, the previous generations have often, um, has not resonated as powerfully, what's speaking to us now? And vice versa. Maybe there's passages that were, were larger hallmarks in the past that now they aren't resonating as powerfully, but they will again. For other generations. Scripture is a, a living document, remember. It's a, it's a conversation of God and us. God has started this conversation. Now we are invited to participate. With what we say, what we do in our very lives, what we live. And so this is just an invitation as we have studied, we have overviewed. Like I said, I cannot cover everything in every book in the Bible in a three to ten minute video depending on the video <laughs> or twelve um these books are so rich i mean we could study one book and for months years even depending on the book right there's so much depth so where do we go from here how do we want this conversation to continue not even just as, as living waters but in our own personal lives i want you to keep reading to keep conversing with god Keep studying, uh, be in groups, right? We have plenty of small groups. You can Zoom with people, right? This is a time to be connected in conversation. So, I would say the conversation of Scripture continues. Thank you for being with us through this tour of the Bible Library, and thank you for continuing this conversation with us. God bless you.